Right, so I'll show you how to put together this tube type trap and I'll run through all the bits and then we'll assemble it. Hopefully I won't forget any parts there's a couple of bits which I thought might be important or you could change. So first of all you've got this is like a drain pipe whatever so PVC pipe and depending on what animal you catch in is how long or how big you use your tube. But I've got a feeling this would work with all sorts of different sizes. This would probably be good enough maybe for a rat or maybe you might want to be longer, rat or a mouse I reckon. So I've got one hole drilled here and then a slot cut here. Now this bit I thought was I think is quite important. Now I've seen similar traps to this, but they don't have this. But what they do is this slot is slightly wider. That's well so far as I know anyway, right? And that if I forget to say, so this stick, when it flips up, has something to kind of just go to at the end there, like that, in there, just slightly. Normally it just flips over and goes straight over the top. But if you don't have that, what happens is it comes up and the whole thing just sticks like that and just gets wedged. Now, having the wider gap is alright if, for example, you're catching crabs or something like this because that's where I've seen a similar trap and it's a crab trap so obviously a crab isn't going to get out small holes but a mouse or a rat can squeeze through you know quite a small hole is surprising so you just need that to keep this bit tight right so I'll go on to the next part which is this back part now this is just an easy, quick way of doing this. You could lay this down, draw around it, lay this down on a piece of wood, stick a pencil and draw around it, and block this end with a piece of wood, or you could put a piece of mesh over it or whatever. But the, but the simple way I thought, or thought of it was, get this bit of can, and you've got to screw a flat piece across like that. And all that's for, so when that goes on there, and you've duct taped it, or screwed it, that will keep it upright. But that's a nice, just a nice quick, simple way of doing it. So we're going to duct tape that on in a minute. And then, you've basically got, this is the door, and you've got two notches at the top, and then this part cut out, and it's flat at the top. And it can be any kind of shape at the bottom as long as it's definitely flat at the top and deep enough to take this piece here. Four elastic bands, that's to make a spring for the door and then a small notched stick which is big enough to go in here lock at the bottom and have enough at the top to hold this piece in as well so I think I've explained it all and what I'll do now we'll put it together and then we'll try it well, let's first of all put our back piece on we'll make sure that that's upright Like I said, you could do this several different ways. You could block off the back with wood, mesh, whatever. I just thought this was a real nice, quick, easy way of doing this. And something like a mouse isn't going to be able to push this off, highly unlikely, or a rat, I don't think, because they're not going to be able to get to it. You could also do this and then stick a couple of screws through it or a couple of bolts or something. So 
So that's our end piece on. Hopefully we've got it straight or straight enough. And it stands up straight because obviously this is round, it's just going to roll all over the place. So like that it'll stay upright. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the door in. So when you put the door in, the notch part faces inwards. And then get four elastic bands. I'll put two through like that and then pull it through itself. And then stick those on. And that's the spring for your door. Oh, that was the only other thing I didn't. It's the only other thing I forgot to explain was if you notice the bottom of the door is the same shape as the pipe. So it fills it up good. Now we'll set it. So hopefully you can see this. I'll do it around this way. Pull this up and wedge your stick in there. that's in there and take this one you tie bait on it or whatever stick it in there and get it so it wedges up underneath and on that one now that is the trap set you might just need to sometimes adjust your bands a bit Sometimes not. I see I've got a long enough stick to stick in there. I'll set it off. I'll have to turn it round though. If you set this off um, while practicing, this stick can fly up and hit you in the face. So just be careful. And obviously the stick's stuck in the way, but well, that's essentially that trap tube type trap it's relatively simple really they look hard like in books and that but or on the internet but when you try it it's not actually that bad at all i'll just set it up one more time the only thing i think might be slightly hard is getting your bait stick in when it's got a load of bait tied to it so you're going to maybe shave it down or shave a notch in it tie your bait on so it's still goes in with the bait on if you know what I mean and then sling a load of bait down the back of the um, trap as well I'll just set it off by hitting the um, the top of the trigger stick right cheers for watching if you got any questions or anything then just ask